don't miss any content don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell Leicester City missed out on Champions League football once again for the second consecutive season losing to Tottenham Hotspur 4-2 on the final day of the season a Chelsea despite losing 2-1 to Aston Villa a finished fourth securing Champions League football for next season Liverpool finished third beating Crystal Palace 2-0 on the final day to secure Champions League football and third place Manchester United ended the season without losing a single away game only the fourth team to do that in EPL history Manchester City finished their season bidding a farewell to Sergio Aguero who had spent 10 years at the club he came off the bench in the 65th minute to score two goals and become the highest goal scorer for a single club with 184 goals surpassing Wayne Rooney's 183 goals for Manchester United. In Italy, Juventus secured UEFA Champions League football after Napoli slipped up with a draw. Juventus finished fourth with one point ahead of Napoli. Atletico Madrid in Spain were crowned champions after they beat Real Valladolid 2-1 to relegate them on the final day. They had to come back from a goal down and win 2-1. Real Madrid, despite their win versus Villarreal, finished second. Barcelona in third place. Bayern Munich bid farewell to Alaba, Jerome Boateng, and Javi Martinez on their final day. And uh, Robert Lewandowski broke the record, scoring 41 goals in the Bundesliga. Lille were crowned French champions after they won 2-0 on final day with just a point over party San Chapman. Uh, welcome back uh, to the channel. As usual, I am your host, Selassie. That was a roundup of the final day of football in and around Europe. It was a great day for Lille supporters who had won the title. PSG's dominance brought to an end and uh, Atletico Madrid and Luis Suarez emotional at the end there in Spain after being deemed surplus to requirements at Barcelona this was redemption day for him Leicester City fans were left frustrated for the second season in a row they miss out on Champions League football today performances of Ghanaian players abroad as I usually do Barbara Mann secured his first trophy with Greek side BAOK Thessaloniki the Greek FA Cup they won over the weekend uh, Andrea Yu and Swansea City made the final of the championship playoff at Wembley. 29th of May, they faced Brentford, a where Ghanaian player also Tariq Pusuplai's history. Before we get into the performances, we'll look at the Ghana Premier League table. Over the weekend, Accra had to fork over to Kumasi Asante Kotoko to go on top of the Ghana Premier League. And it was quite interesting how they did that. They won 1 0 Kotoko were held by West Africa Football Academy at home. This is how the results went over the weekend. On Friday, Accra had to go kick things off with a 1-0 victory away from home against Techiman 11 Wonders. Their first time ever winning against a Techiman based side, winning in Techiman. Also, it was the first time since 2016 that Accra had to go went on top after that win. Kumasi Asante Kotoko followed and drew 1-1 with West African Football Academy after going ahead from the spot Ismail Ganyu four goals in 10 games for the young man. Great Olympics beat Interalize 1-0 at the Accra Sports Stadium. A break home Chelsea drew 1-1 with Kerala United. Mediama SC beat Ashanti Gold 1-0. Legon Cities beat Adriana Stars 2-0. A Dreams FC beat Bechem United 2-1. Elmina Sharks lost to King Faisal 1-0 at home. A Busian Dwarfs beat Liberty Professionals 2-1. And after that, this is how the table looks like. Same points, Accra Hatsubuk and Kumasi Asante Kotoko. A goal difference separating the two sides. 46 points for the Phobians, 46 for the Porcupine Warriors. Mediama are third with 43 points. Great Olympics also with 43 points. A tight, tight Ghana Premier League table. 42 points for Karela United. 
Dreams FC have 41 points to make it into the top six there. Wafa 7th with 39. At the bottom, three 11 wonders. Techiman 11 wonders are 16th. Liberty Professionals 17th with 26 points. And Inter Allies, who look odds on favorite to be relegated with 23 points. It's going to be an interesting match day 27. And now eight more match days to go. It's 81's uh, Premier League and uh, it's really tight and getting interesting. With the European football over, we can all shift focus 100% now uh, to the Ghana Premier League. As usual, let's get into the performance of Ghanaian players abroad. In England, Arsenal on the final day took on Brighton and Hope Albion. They won 2-0. Thomas Partey was in action 90 minutes of this game. Fulham took on Newcastle United and Dennis Odoi was not in the squad for Fulham. They lost 2-0 to Newcastle United. Leicester City slipped up in the fall race for top four as they lost 4-2 to Tottenham Hotspur who finished seventh and in the conference league places. Daniel Amate was an unused substitute and a lot of people were back in the comments talking about how Amate's disrespect for Chelsea led to them being knocked out of the Champions League places and I have to say honestly Leicester City have overachieved. An FA Cup trophy, a top five finish, that is overachievement for a club like Leicester City but because of the recent successes they've chalked, the performance they've chalked and where they have been throughout the season. A lot of people expected more. It was just 12 days that they were not in the top four. They had been at the top four throughout the season and that is where it cost them eventually. Liverpool got back to third place. They won 2-0 versus Crystal Palace. Jordan Ayew played 90 minutes of the encounter. West Ham United played Southampton, West Ham beating Southampton 3-0. Mohamed Salisu played 90 minutes of the encounter. Brentford in the playoffs uh, beat Bournemouth 3-1 after a 1-0 first leg loss. Tariq Fosu came on in the 79th minute, has his side made it to Wembley. And also Swansea City drew 1-1 with Mansley, but the one goal ahead they gave that was given them by Andrea Ayew was enough to see them go into the final of uh, the playoff uh, places. Celta Vigo uh, took on Real Betis and Joseph Edu was an unused substitute uh, for Celta Vigo. They lost 3 2 to Real Betis on the final day. In Italy, Spezia took on Roma. Emmanuel Jesse uh, played 90 minutes. It was a 2 2 draw uh, between the two sides. Cagliari took on Genoa. Alfred Duncan came on in the 10th minute and uh, Kojo Samoa was an unused substitute. Genoa beat Cagliari. 1-0. In France, Mets took on Olympic Marseille, a 1-1 draw. Both teams sharing the spoils. John Boy played 90 minutes. Strasbourg took on Lorient. Alexandre Ducou played 90 minutes. Majid Juarez was not in the squad. Both teams share the spoils. 1-1 here. In Germany, Hoffenheim took on Hertha Berlin. Kasim Adams was an unused substitute as Hoffenheim beat Hertha Berlin 2-1. And in the United States, uh, New York City FC took on Columbus Crew. Crews coming to one victors. Uh, Jonathan Mensah played 90 minutes. Harrison Afo played 82 minutes. And in the Greek FA Cup final, Olympiakos uh, lost to PAOK Thessaloniki. And Babaraman played the full 90 minutes of uh, this encounter. He was involved for his club side, PAOK Thessaloniki, where he's on loan uh, from. Chelsea winning his first trophy uh, with them. Congratulations to uh, Baba Rahman on chalking uh, that amazing victory for his club side, uh, PAOK Tessa Loniki. So that has been it for today. Looking at the performances of Ghanaian uh, players abroad. Great weekend for Andre Ayu. He was hyped at the end of the game, talking about how this team is a united unit and they are ready to fight for their Premier League uh, place. Uh, they will square off with Brentford who lost the final last year uh, to Fulham 1-0. And it will be interesting to see how things go uh, for Andrea. Hopefully they qualify, but Tariq Hussi is on the other end and we're hoping for his club side to, uh, to qualify. 
Let me know your thoughts in the comments box on the final day of the English Premier League, of the leagues across in Europe. The final day, everything came to an end. Congratulations to Lille, congratulations to Atletico of Madrid, congratulations to Manchester City and Sergio Aguero. Ten years of amazing football. An interesting thing is that when he made his debut versus Swansea City in 2011, he scored two goals. He signed off in 2021 with two goals great great man 184 goals highest goal scorer for a single club i'll see you guys in the next one have a great day and enjoy your week